transformed into an amazing destination for the entire community to enjoy. I'm also excited to be joined by our pinnacle dream team. That includes dog lover, licensed contractor, and host of the popular DIY network show, Desperate Landscapes, Jason yeah! As well as national author and pet expert, Arden Moore. We're also thrilled to have with us Prescott Mayor Marlon Kirkendall. VIP, the person responsible for bringing the Dream Dog Park to Prescott, Linda Nichols. And so, before we officially unveil the proposed renovation design, I'd like to share a little background about why we're here. Like so many of you, we at Beneful understand the importance of enjoying daily ventures with our four-legged buddies and how those adventures help keep us healthy and happy. Look, we have some living examples right here. <laughs> Since 2010, our National Dream Dog Park contest has been one of the many ways in which we bring this mission to life. Um, each year, one grand prize winner has been selected and their ideas have helped serve as inspiration for a $500,000 Dream Dog Park in their respective hometown area. We've seen the overwhelmingly positive impact the parks have had on our surrounding communities and are thrilled to be bringing our fourth Dream Dog Park here to Preston. I know I joined the entire Prescott community, Linda and Callie, for entering. They're the reason we're all here today. Um, at this time, it's my great pleasure to introduce Jason Cameron, who will manage the renovation here, as well as Arthur Moore, who will oversee it from a dog's point of view. Thanks, Maraki. Good morning, everyone. How you guys doing? I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Bit. It's great to be here in Prescott. Just so you know, I've been practicing. It's Prescott, for those of you who don't understand. Yeah. Not Prescott. Yeah, it's Prescott. Arden and I are saying it's, we, we keep repeating it to ourselves. It's Prescott. Prescott. Yeah. Prescott. Yeah. Arden and I love being part of such an exciting program that allows us to combine our passion and expertise to help bring dream dog parks to life, which is what, what, what it will be soon. As a dog owner, I certainly understand the important role our best buddies have in our lives and know that a trip to a local dog, dog park is the perfect way to create a healthy, happy life together. Uh, what's great about the Beneful Dream Dog Park Contest is that it helps inspire truly unforgettable adventures with our dogs uh, by, by creating parks unlike anything you've ever seen before, which is what we're going to unveil here soon. Uh, Linda and Callie's first uh, uh, fire station themed entry earned them a grand prize that truly inspired us when it came uh, when it when it came to us when it came to the most dream design for the five hundred five hundred thousand dollars dream dog park renovation of Willow Creek Dog Park. Great job, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so get ready, Prescott. This park is going to be amazing. I can say that because I know what the proposed dream design looks like. And don't worry, you guys are going to find out really in a few minutes what that is. Uh, so I'd like to introduce Arden right now. Arden, are you as excited as I am? <laughs> Thank you, Jason, and I'm really glad to see all of you guys. Let's still big paws up to Prescott. Come on! All right, you know what? This is a great off-leash park now. It's huge. It's in a great location, but I'm really, really excited. I'm actually, this is going to be awesome news. You guys are going to step it up to the next level, the best level, and you're going to transform this place into the ultimate destination for dogs and their people, and it's going to, you know what? You're going to have a dog park that others are going to drool over. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, Ronke has mentioned I'm supervising the Dream Dog Park from the dog's point of view. I forgot my dog poop bag, but I have two dogs at home that surf, and they're going to come here midway to check this place out. All right. And I have to do a special shout out to Hot Shot as a beautiful dog, and Callie. Callie. The other dog is Bella. Bella is being uh, uh, at home. 
home, but Bella and... Oh, she's here. Oh, she's here? Great. So what I'm trying to say to you guys, this you guys are going to love this. We've worked on different parks. I'm so glad there's one now in Arizona. Um, so we got a real treat in store for you. Ready for it? Yeah. Yeah. Treat. All right, I can't wait to come back to see how this is shaping up in Prescott. And I'm going to tell you more, uh, now to tell you more about what this park means to the city of Prescott, please give a big applause up. A welcome Yay. to your very own Mayor, Marlon Kirkendall. Yay. What a beautiful morning to be uh, uh, among our two-legged and four-legged friends. <laughs> it's, it's just great to be a part of Prescott this morning, and, uh, and I'm proud that I can look out and see that we have uh, Chris and Charlie uh, from our city council and, and, uh, and Gene. Thanks. So you, you need to get out where you can be seen. Get out of the sun. You need to get out of the sun. But uh, it's 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 a great event. I uh, uh, I was handed cue cards this morning, and uh, that's the first time that I've ever uh, had something like this, and, and uh, was expected to stay on on theme. But I'm not sure. We can. <laughs> Feel free to wing it. <laughs> Callie's here with us, and because Callie is here, that means that Linda's here. So uh, uh, we'll give them equal importance. But uh, Callie didn't didn't uh, didn't write the letter and, and do all the work. So uh, uh, Linda, thank you so much for uh, for what you've done, and thank you, Benefield, for what. Uh, uh, for coming and looking at Prescott and learning a little bit our, about our community and understanding why this is the proper place for you to make your investment this year uh, in the Beneful Dream Park, but also the Prescott Dream Park because it's certainly a dream for the dog lovers of our community. So on behalf of uh, the entire Prescott community, our entire city council, our 500 city employees that will have some part to do with maintaining uh, this facility. And that's the other part of, of this that we, as a community, have to make sure that when this park is completed, that we provide the, the means and the resources to keep it up in the condition that I'm sure that Benefit will leave it when they leave here. So. Uh, on behalf of the city, why, thanks for the $500,000 uh, renovation, and we're looking forward to it. I also have uh, one other thank you that's uh, uh, critical. Without the donation of this land from APS, we would not be here today. our friends from APS here uh, take the word back to Phoenix that uh, it couldn't have happened without uh, APS. APS has uh, all of these years with the city has let us use this land uh, free of charge and uh, even helped us uh, many times with the things that needed to be, to be done here. So uh, when the Bethel people came and said uh-oh uh you got to you got to own the land before we can be a partner with you. Uh, Joe Baines and some of our other folks uh, uh, went to APS and said, here's, what, here's our problem, here's our solution. And APS was kind enough to uh, provide the city with a deed. So thanks very much and take that work back to APS. Now I'm going to go back on script. Uh, there's no doubt in our minds that this enhancement to our dog park will improve the quality of life for our ever-growing community of dog lovers and their four-legged friends. So thanks very much. Uh, I don't see, is Ed Box here? Bill? 
I thought Ed might uh, come this morning. He's uh, the head of chair of our Humane Society, and what a wonderful job they do to make sure that uh, all of our four-legged friends in the Prescott area uh, have a good life. And uh, I wish he was here, but uh, thanks again, Benefil. Thanks for uh, letting us be a part of you. And uh, Linda, thank you again. Kirkendall, Jason, and Art. One of the most exciting aspects of the Medical Dream Dog Park Contest is finding out who the grand prize winner is. We all knew there was something special about Linda's fire station themed entry, and we couldn't be more excited to celebrate her as the winner of our 2013 contest. Linda, come on up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, On behalf of the medical team,
This dog park has been a place that our Prescott dogs and dog owners appreciate and depend on to exercise and socialize our dogs. With this generous donation from Beneville, it will soon be a really wonderful, much more functional, and a safer place for them to come together and play. Thank you, Beneville, for making this possible, and, and also to APS, I'd like to thank them uh, for donating the land, which was so generous. And um, thank you all for coming here today to help us celebrate. Thanks so much, Linda and Callie. And now, the moment that we've all been waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> Jason, come on up here so we can unveil the proposed design. Really. This is it? Are we doing it? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do it. Yeah. Unveil. You guys ready? Yeah! Okay. All right, on the count of three. Three, two, one. There we go. This is that space, believe it or not. So this is going to be transformed, uh, and let's just start with the entry gate. We we'll talked a little bit about the firemen and how we want to dedicate part of this park to their memory. So that looks like a firehouse. So when you walk into this uh, amazing uh, park, it's going to look like you're walking into a firehouse with the gates. Uh, so right away you walk into that. The shade structure we're going to have, which is in this area right here, is a large shade structure. It's going to straddle the fence line between the large and the small dog side. So each side will have shade. Uh, really nice big area with picnic tables underneath. We've got some really cool tunnels that look like fire hoses. That they'll be able to go Oh, oh neat. So we've got some of the trees, obviously, the long ones we're keeping. We've got a really neat feature of the over here, which is a man-made custom fire truck, which is uh, going to be very safe for dogs, but it is all for dogs. The tires are tunnels that you can get on the top of it, on the back of it, but it looks like a real fire truck. That's going to be over here. And we have uh, we have water. We have water. Oh, yeah. I and myself right now because it's hot here, but we do have a uh, splash pad over here, which is a misting element. I know there's some water concerns here in Prescott. We're going to take that into consideration. They're misters, and we've got another mister. We don't want to leave the small dogs out, but the small dogs. And then a lot of area to run and play. We've got some other uh, agility equipment coming in, but uh, and, and then the turf. I always want to bring some green in. This yes. is synthetic turf, which is going to cover about oh, 20,000 yes. square feet. Yeah. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Awesome. I think I like it. Well, thank you all for coming out to help us celebrate this momentous occasion. Please stick around. We've got some snacks and goodies for humans as well as your four-legged buddies. And we look forward to seeing you later this year at the Unveil. Yeah. Yeah.